This is Ben Scully. You're about to hear the story of a dream come true. The incredible story of the 1981 world champion Los Angeles Dodgers. In years to come, when Dodger fans look back on 1981, they'll remember it as the year they, the 10th player, and their team won it all. Oh sure, baseball historians will remember the strike, but Dodger fans will fondly recall their world championship season. And a man-child named Fernando, who led team comeback to the title. <laughs> It all began Thursday, April the 9th, this magical story. The Houston Astros were in town for a rematch of the year-ending series of 1980. Jerry Royce was scheduled to work the opener, but he injured a calf muscle on the eve of the season. Manager Tom Lasorda drafted Fernando, and El Toro flashed a sign of things to come by blanking the Astros on five hits. Steve Howe and Bobo Castillo have been throwing back to Valenzuela the last inning or so. The 2-1 pitch to Roberts. Screwball. Swung on and missed. Two and two. So Fernando Valenzuela has this crowd just dying to salute him. Two and two. Valenzuela delivers just inside with a fastball. He tried to sneak it in. And the fastball just missed under the hand. So they had him set up. The screwball was away. He came back inside. So with two out, a full count. How ready to go. And listen to this crowd. Most of the folks on their feet now. Valenzuela delivers. Screwball got it swinging. What a way to start. Fernando Valenzuela in his first big league start. Pitches a shutout, and a little child shall lead them. With the 10th player roaring its approval, the Dodgers completed their opening sweep of the Astros on Sunday, April the 12th. Newcomer Kenny Landro supplied the key offensive blow. Here's Ross Porter for the call. Landro waiting. Now Rule at the belt. And a pitch to Kenny. A drive to right field and head deep. Going back is Leonard to the track, to the wall. Home run! Call a pretty good hit and run play. I'll hit it, and when he goes to the seat, you just take your time going around the bases. And Landro delivers a two-run homer, his first as a Dodger, and the first home run of the year for Los Angeles. And it's 3-0 Dodgers as Dusty Baker stands in. The Dodgers were off and running on a six-game winning streak that put them in first place to stay in the first half. The fifth win in that streak came in Fernando's second start. It was a 7-1 win over the Giants at Candlestick Park. Fernando allowed just four hits and struck out 10, but he had his scoreless streak snapped at 32 in two-thirds innings. Here's the way Jerry Doggett described it. Enos Cabell came into the game tonight hitting 263. The 0-1 pitch on the way. Left to the center field is going to fall for a base hit. Here is Herndon in the score, and that breaks the string. The Giants finally get on the board, and Fernando Valenzuela had a beautiful string, and it finally came to a conclusion. One night after Jerry Royce made his injury-delayed debut an impressive one in a one to nothing loss to the Astros in Houston, Fernando did his number again on the Astros and Don Sutton. Fernando scattered seven hits, struck out 11. Oh, yes, he also drove in the only run of the game with a fifth-inning single to the opposite field. Valenzuela, single to center in the third inning. He's three for ten this year. And he takes a pitch up and inside, ball one, one and oh. No score, fifth inning, great ball game, and the principals go head to head right now. Don Sutton pitching to Fernando Valenzuela. The outfield is shallow and way around the left field. The infield is back, but how the third baseman even with the bag. The one oh pitch, Valenzuela hits a line drive, extra base hit. Down the left field line, into the corner to get it is Cruz, and Valenzuela, who was perfectly content to stop at first, goes into second base. 
Is there anything this kid can't do? So Valenzuela singles to left to score Guerrero. Takes second on the era. And the Dodgers lead one to nothing. Rick Monday received a rare start April 25th against San Diego. He waited until the 11th inning to bring the 10th player out of its seats by tripling home Ron Say to give the Dodgers a 2-1 to one victory. It was a sign of things to come. The one strike pitch to Monday. Fly ball in the left center field. A long run for River Jones. He's on the track. He leaps. The ball's off the wall. Say's halfway to third. Being waved home. He will score. Dodgers win. Drove one up the alley in left center field. Ripper Jones tried to climb the wall at the 385 foot sign, banged into the barrier, shook himself up. The ball rolled back toward the infield. Gene Richards raced over to try to have a play, but when he bobbled the ball, there was no chance. And Ron Say scores all the way from the first base bag. And on his first hit of the year, Rick Monday delivers the game winning RBI double in the 11th inning, and the Dodgers pull it out over the Padres. The Giants got their second look at Fernando and a close-up of Fernando Mania, April the 27th at Dodger Stadium. Fernando pitched a seven-hit shutout. He had three hits himself, including a key RBI single in a four-run fourth inning. The 10th player loved every minute of it. Valenzuela singled in the third inning, the first Dodger hit. So, of course, now Griffin has been warned. Valenzuela, with five hits in his 13 at-bats, one for one in his 385. The pitch to him is foul back, 0-1. Oh, oh, Mike Socia at third, Bill Russell at first with two out in the fourth. No score. Tom Griffin facing a challenge here. Russell off the bag, Cabell holding. Strike one pitch to Fernando. Breaking ball inside. One and one. Now Fernando back up to the plate. Griffin at the belt. Ready delivers. Valenzuela lines it into right field.